guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's another day and another update. I really love giving my weight loss updates. And today I've got, by the title of the video, you guys already know that I have things that I cut out of my diet for weight loss. I have this little note here for guidance. And I have a couple of things that I had to cut out of my diet to facilitate my weight loss. As I'm sitting here in front of you right now, I've already lost 22 pounds. I am currently 148 pounds. And I'm so excited, so stoked, like I can't believe I did it. It took me like five months. So I always say that I started on April 1st, 2021 and today is um, August 25, 2021. And that's about a five month mark and I have lost 22 pounds and I have eight, eight more pounds to go and I'm super excited really. <laughs> so these are some of the things that I cut out. Honestly, if you do want to lose weight, if you're serious about it, then you should, you know, for, for just for that short period of time while you, while you're losing the weight, call back on some of these things. Of course, you want to make sure that whatever you're eating, you want that you can sustain it. You don't want to like eat extreme diet that you can you cannot continue after you lose the weight. So make sure that whatever you're eating, you just reduce the portions and let it be within your calorie deficits so that it's it's sustainable. It becomes a lifestyle. My eating habit has become a lifestyle now. So the first thing that I cut out was soda. You know, everybody knows that carbonated drinks, like the very sugary ones, are not good for you. That they're so high in sugar high high fructose corn syrup and those things just add to your weight like you don't know how how much they count until you cut it out and you see yourself losing the weight so if you want to lose weight if you're really serious about it please cut out soda at least for a while and then after your weight loss you can drink it like maybe once a week once in two weeks just make it not so frequent thing in your diet anymore after I lose it. Number two thing that I did was make sure that I went for smaller portions of food. You know, when I want to eat rice, instead of eating this big bowl of rice, I now eat one cup of rice. Instead of eating this big bowl of spaghetti or whatever pasta, I eat very, very little. And just fill your plates up with vegetables so that your stomach can get filled. And vegetables are very low in calories and you, you find that that just becomes something that you like you don't have to eat all the heavy calorie food to, to get filled up look for lighter calorie smaller calorie alternatives to fill your plate so the next thing i cut out was fast food i don't eat fast food anymore at least for now sometimes i'll take a slice of pizza or I would uh, buy food from a restaurant, which is like different. Restaurants and fast food is different. Fast food is high fatty food, highly oily food, and you just want to avoid those really. So the next on my list is that I stopped indulging in my cravings. <laughs> Most people have sweet tooths and they're outside, they wanna buy ice cream, they wanna buy burgers, they want to buy whatever it is is out there that they, they can you know buy to to quench their thirst or just whatever attracts them and you just have to cut that out if you're in a store make sure you have a list of what you want to buy with you so that you don't um go outside of that and start buying things that stop buying things just because they look good to you or because oh i want to try that that looks really nice that looks like it would be really sweet to be really you know just save that till after your weight loss till after you achieve your goal and you know the goal is also to be healthy so even after you lose the weight make sure you're consuming these things very little so the next thing i cut out was chocolate 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 i love chocolate like crazy like seriously i love chocolate but the thing is there are alternatives, there are better alternatives. Most of the chocolates you see in stores, they are, you know, milk chocolate, high in sugar. But if you go for dark chocolate, you could go for 70% cacao, 80%, 90%. If you can do 100, well, I, <laughs> well, 
good for you but 100% cacao is like really bitter so I, I i don't go for that but anything 70 and upward i i tried I, i've tried those and they're really so good so the next thing i cut out was ice cream <laughs> when i was pregnant i used to like take ice cream so much i would buy a different type for the longest time i wasn't indulging in my cravings so when I got pregnant, I was like, yes, this is the time to try everything. I tried all the fast foods, I tried all the ice cream brands, and I was just eating a lot, really. I was like, uh, well, I have to eat for two, right? So this is just the time. And I gained a whole 60 pounds at the end of, as at the time that I gave birth, I was 200 pounds. And like, I was just like, wow. <laughs> I can't believe that I grew that big. It will almost seem like, oh, it's because you're pregnant. It's just the baby weight. But no, no, you're also adding extra fat because of your diet. So make sure you control your craving when you're pregnant. You don't need to eat a whole lot more. Just an extra snack, maybe like um, uh, an apple plus your normal meal is good enough really so just make sure you don't snack too much so the next thing that i cut out my diet was baked goods i do not eat baked goods anymore or i try to limit them so when we talk about baked goods we're talking about cookies and uh, i can't really think of everything now all those cupcakes and muffins anything baked I have stayed away from it because it's all flour and sugar and cream and these things just add to your weight they retard your weight loss goal so just make sure that you uh, whatever you're eating whatever it is that you want to eat make sure it's within your calorie deficit amount for me I when I, I was using the lifesome app to calculate my calories and I had 1400 calories per day if I want to eat two meals or three meals, three meals that will be about 450 calories, morning, afternoon, night, thereabouts, maybe a little less. So like whatever I want to eat, I make sure it's within that. But I eat twice a day. But because I eat twice a day does not mean that I would eat like 700 and 700. You're not supposed to eat that way. My morning calorie was about 350 my afternoon calorie was about 400 and then the rest was for evening so on that app my evening calorie was always the largest so whenever i have a big dinner they be like yes you're still within your calorie range but if i eat a big breakfast they tell me you you're overdoing it so like what what you eat in the morning in the evening will differ so don't eat 700 calories in the afternoon, 700 calories in the night because just because you you have uh, like two meals in a day, that was what I did, um, I have two meals in a day, that's still too much, like your body still needs time to process all that 700 calories and it's going to just store the extra as fat if you don't use up all that 700. So usually I just skip the dinner, the lunch calories or maybe I would have uh, like snack instead peanut butter and apple or something like that and I just eat my morning calories and then my evening calories so whatever you're eating even if it's baked goods pizza whatever make sure it's within your calorie deficit amount and that's the best advice that I think I got from all the videos that I watched on YouTube about weight loss all the articles that I read online just make sure that you're eating within your calorie deficit so you can eat anything really but if you have like a size of pizza that that is like i don't know 600 calories is that going to be enough for you or would you rather eat uh something like you know broccoli and rice just a little bit of rice and chicken and that would make up uh, maybe 500 calories it depends on the amount you're eating and whatever calorie you're supposed to take depends on your BMI depends on your weight your height and all that so don't think that because this, the next person is eating this amount of calories you have to eat the same yours might be higher yours might be lower it might be the same you have to calculate it go online and find a good calorie deficit calculator and use that as a guideline and I think that's the end of my video 
please make sure that you are staying on course for your weight loss this is a journey about health not about aesthetics I always say that we need to be healthy as you know as people so that we can live longer and so that we can experience more things on earth there's so many health issues out there that just a change of diet would uh, rectify and yeah that's what I'm trying to promote here and uh, thank you all for coming to watch my video again stay tuned for other kind of content I'll be back to give other updates on my health and, and my diet and, and my weight loss and other things so thank you bye for now